Hello and welcome everybody to today's live commodity market analysis with the Golden Silver Club for the 4th of August 2016 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. During today's live session, we will be covering live market analysis. This is, of course, a Bank of England special. So we will be covering the interest rate decision very closely with you and the impact that is having on commodities. We will also be covering a watch list of trading opportunities, an overview of the commodity markets, uh, the performance, performance, excuse me, of our portfolio over the last week and answering questions and providing live support. We've just seen some quite explosive moves on a lot of the market, especially, of course, the pound and also Gold has had quite a significant uplift over the last hour. So I've got lots of content to cover with you today, guys. We'll go through some research, we'll go through some data, and of course, we'll have a look at the charts as well. Gold, gold right now is looking very interesting as it's only at the moment about $15 or 150 points away from the 2016 highs off the back of this news and off the back of the two year highs here as well. So before we get into it, let me introduce you to the Gold and Silver Club. The Gold and Silver Club is the world's number one commodities trading and investment coaching company. We're regarded as the go-to authority on commodities trading as internationally respected experts, our analysis and our opinions on the metals, the energies and the agricultural markets. They're routinely sought by major financial television channels and publications, which include Bloomberg, Reuters, CNBC, Global Banking, Finance Review, The Wall Street Journal. And of course, it's a pleasure to be here on FX Street as well. Our team of experts has trained and mentored over 100,000 private traders from all over the world to increase their wealth and generate substantial monthly income through commodities using our signature trading strategies. So for more information on the Gold and Silver Club and our expertise, please go ahead and visit our website, which is www.thegoldandsilverclub.com. So we shall move straight into it and excuse the typo there, but the Bank of England has cut interest rates for the first time since 2009. So we've had significant news today. The Bank of England, they cut the interest rate for the first time since 2009, said it would buy 60 billion pounds of government debt to ease the blow from Britain's June 23rd vote to leave the European Union. The central bank lowered its main lending rate to record 0.25% from 0.5%. That has had quite a big impact on the markets already. Just within uh, one hour following on from that, we've seen gold break out quite significantly. We've also seen silver start to uh, move to the upside as well. The pound is breaking down at the moment. So that has definitely had quite a, a large impact. I'll move over to uh, gold very shortly. We'll have a look at the chart and how the price is looking right now. Over the course of this week, we did see gold profit taking earlier on on Tuesday after we saw gold price hit a three week high. So we saw prices breach up to one thousand three hundred and sixty five US dollars per ounce within about a ten dollar move or 100 points away from breaching above the two year highs as well. Overall technical control definitely remains in further of the bulls at the moment, particularly given the fact that the interest rate the decision today has been, of course, supportive for gold. Now, why has it been supportive for gold? So a few of the reasons around that. Primarily, uh, the, the fact that the, the UK have now gone and reduced interest rates puts America and the Federal Reserve in uh, a difficult uh, position now moving forward in terms of them increasing interest rates too. So that is one of the catalysts that we have seen providing support for the precious metals, especially last week on the FOMC statement was that the Federal Reserve didn't go ahead with an interest rate increase. They left the interest rates unchanged and the speculation over this year as to whether the Federal Reserve would go ahead and increase their interest rate later on in the year is now much more unlikely. And with that, we've seen gold start to uh, start to 
grind and move to the upside or the back of that. Also, of course, if you hold any in investments or you've got savings in the bank now that the interest rates have been reduced now to 0.25%, it's less, it's again much less attractive here to hold your savings in the bank. You would look for markets which are performing well at the moment in order to diversify your capital. And of course, you don't really need to look much further than the commodities and in particular the precious metals as well. So if we have a look at the moment on the top performers over the course of 2016 so far this year, silver has gained 45% this year. We've seen runaway moves also on platinum, on gold, on palladium too. We've continued to see very strong inflows into those markets. They're the top performers at the moment. We've seen gold right now. It is poised for a potential breakout yet again above the 2016 highs. Really what this tells you is we're seeing continued investment demand in these markets. So this has been just another catalyst for prices to break out higher today. We've got the non-farm payrolls tomorrow as well. And this really is an opportunity at this point we perceive to uh, enter if you don't have positions, particularly on silver at the moment as well. Silver had a corrective pullback over the last couple of days. It's gained 45% in 2016. Okay, Commodities have had their best run since 2009. We continue to see significant inflows into these markets. Okay, Sarini Vasam uh, Ravinda, I appreciate that, and uh, we'll definitely we'll have a look at that. So yeah, just in terms of, I mean, the fundamentals at the moment, and in terms of where we are seeing investment flow. Just to keep it super straightforward, right now we're continuing to see investment demand move into the precious metals. So with the reduced interest rate now, what we can see is that certainly gold has got a boost right off the back of that. Silver is well. Well, these markets are much more attractive. What does it mean for the overall economy? We've seen the Bank of Japan reducing interest rates, the European Central Bank as well, now the UK. And it, again, if America goes ahead and they reduce interest rates or they continue to keep their interest rates unchanged, that essentially provides more opportunity for investors to take advantage of gold. They're not going to, if you've got your money in a bank account, which isn't producing a good return on interest. So certainly in the UK, that interest rate has now gone down. You're looking for other assets and investments which will produce a better return, which is why gold and silver are favored in this sort of environment. So I hope that just provides a little bit more clarity. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, thank you, Mauricio. I appreciate it. So, uh, so with that, what we will do, we'll have a look. So that just gives you a bit of a, an overview of where we're sat with commodities at the moment. The best performers right now. So you do. It, it is worth having having that on the radar and paying attention to that. Also, not only that, if you have a look at the trend cycles at the moment. So if you see where we are poised within the last five years, fifteen years, and thirty year chart patterns here. Gold, what you will notice immediately here, its best performing months of the year are January, February, and also August. And that is absolutely worth noting. So if you go back to last year, we had a significant breakout at the beginning of August, which followed through over three weeks. At the beginning of this year, we had what is known as the January effect, where we saw significant inflows into the precious metals. Gold moved over 1,830 points between January and February. We had what is known as the January effect, where you see a lot of fresh funds come into the market at the beginning of the year, that cycle has held true over five, 15, 30 year uh, chart structures and patterns, historical, uh, the patterns that we see in the markets. And from a seasonal perspective, as we head into August, we've had a typical correction over July. So we reached a pullback from the non-farm payrolls at the beginning of July. We continue to pull back. And in fact, we pull back in the region of gold for about five to 600 points right towards the last week of July. And then the FOMC statement last week on Wednesday was a catalyst for higher prices. The GDP numbers as well caused, again, more weakness in the US dollar. We saw the weakness. We saw the US dollar break down significantly last week, and that provided a breakout for gold, breaking to three 
week highs. And this week, we've continued to see further follow through. And now if you trade gold, you need to be aware of this pattern of seasonality. So you can see typically gold really gets going from the beginning of August. A lot of this is also due down to demand that you get uh, typically in Asia, which we haven't seen actually so far during this bull run over the month of August, the end of July so far. We haven't really seen Asia be a major participant in this. But as we approach the wedding season in Asia, as we see imports increase for the festivals in India and later on in the year in China, that is, this is typically where from a seasonal point of view, we see more investment demand. And once Asia starts to buy as well over the Asia Pacific session, which we haven't seen over this week, this is where gold has clean air up to the 1400s. So watch this market very closely. Pay attention to gold over this month of August. We've already had another fundamental announcement today from the Bank of England, which has provided another catalyst yet again for gold. Non-farm payroll will be interesting tomorrow. Obviously, the US GDP numbers came in weaker than expected last week. The GDP numbers yesterday were stronger than expected. So that caused a pullback on gold. But ultimately, I expect follow through during the US session today. So with that, let's get straight into it, shall we? So we have a look at the gold market. And so that's a bit of research um, just on the seasonality cycles, also investment flow at the moment. Note also that we continue to see very strong demand for gold ETFs this year. Also, the long positions that we've seen from uh, the hedge funds has increased to its record high for silver. So there's a lot of investment demand. And the ETF holdings in gold this year have been one of the main drivers, which have caused gold to be one of the top performing commodities this year, up 28% so far. So right now, if you have a look at my chart on gold, what you'll see is that we're currently trading at 1,361 US dollars per ounce. We've got some really clear trend channels, which held support last week. For those of you who watched our weekly session last week, you will note that we were looking for a breakout on gold. We discussed that we were looking for good follow through. So you can go back to FX Street, watch the analysis that we did last week. We were looking for a breakout and we provided uh, an update on the opportunity to get into a breakout trade. So since then, we've seen gold break out to three week highs. It's up over 250 points since we did last week's session. So that has been spot on. We got a bull flag formation, which broke out. We also broke out of what is known as a pennant formation which I won't go into too much detail on because we went into detail on last week's session. But essentially, gold right now, what you want to pay attention to is the weekly highs here. So if gold can break above, if it can continue to follow through here and break, let me just show you on the daily chart. If it can break above overhead resistance at 1,366 US dollars, and once US, the US comes online this afternoon, and if they buy this move on gold, if we break above the weekly high here, we've got a fresh run here. There's no resistance up until 1380. So that would give you about 150 point move above 1,365 US dollars per ounce. You can already see gold at the moment. It's formed a rejection candle, a hammer off some major moving averages, and it has been supported by the move by the Bank of England today. So I would absolutely have this on your radar right now. So for those of you who like technical analysis, you're looking for a breakout, I would look for a breakout above the weekly highs. We've got clean air above that. Now, as a lot of you are aware, we've continued to hold longer term positions on gold. We've had a bullish stance on gold. The majority of the sessions that we've conducted with you following on from Brexit, following on from FOMC statements, we've continued to add two positions on the pullbacks. As well as the pullbacks, you can get into trades on gold on breakouts. Now, we're not banging the drum all the time saying buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. What we're saying is be sensible about it. It's not as simple as we're in a bull market by any price. You need to know the correct entry levels, what your risk to reward is on the trade, when to get in at the correct zones, where you've got the best risk to reward potential, which is, of course, what we do at the Gold and Silver Club. We are called, the hint is in the name, we are the Gold and Silver Club. So we obviously provide all of our traders and members at the Gold and Silver Club with the exact levels that we get into the market, the stop losses, the take profit. We've been trading the Bank of England decision live with all of our traders today at the Gold and Silver Club. It's been a really nice move so far. We've got long term positions in this. And what I can tell you is if we do break above the weekly highs, we might not do it. Maybe gold's not going to be able to follow through until non-farm payroll tomorrow. But what I can tell you is if gold does break above this week's highs, above 1,367, I believe is the high of the week so far. 
let's look 366.48 and 1000 yeah 1367 us dollars if it breaks above that level it's only got a 70 point move to break above the brexit highs you'll get buy orders kicking above that level above 1375 you run up to 1380 break through 1380 clean run to 1400 so i would definitely have this on your radar right now remember the whole reason that we've had corrections in gold up until last year where we had significant bear market over a four-year period a lot of that especially towards the end of last year has been on speculation that the federal reserve in america gold being priced in us dollars would go ahead and increase interest rates so at the start of this year it was anticipated the federal reserve would go ahead with four interest rate hikes this is big news the bank of england has now cut their interest rates not only that bank of japan bank of um, also european central bank has done it as well it puts the federal reserve in a very difficult position to go ahead with increases in interest rates they might hint at it they might suggest it but ultimately it's very unlikely that they're going to do it now which creates a vote which creates a very strong case for more upside with commodities particularly the precious metals so again just going back to the data on here and i strongly would suggest that you want to have this on your radar at the moment not only from a seasonality perspective but also the fact that the best performing commodities of this year are silver, platinum, gold, and palladium. Okay, so is the precious metals and the base metals right now? So I'm passionate about it because we've uh, been making a lot of um, returns on this all year at the Gold and Silver Club. So of our members and so forth. And if you're not making money in this market, you should be because there's some massive opportunities right now. If you're a trader and you trade commodities, you should be making money because these markets have exploded this year. It's been the best performance for commodities since 2009. We've transitioned out of a bear market into a bull market. It doesn't get much more straightforward than this. However, I do note that it's not just a case of just buy at any price. Obviously, you need to know when to buy, how to manage the trade, when it's going to reach an overbought condition, when to get into a position. So I will talk you through that shortly, guys, if you would like to find out more, how you can get access to all of the positions that we trade at the Gold and Silver Club. Right, Ravindu. So let's go and have a look at the silver market. So let's go over and just take a look. So silver right now, check out silver. Silver is looking very good right now. Silver up 45% this year. We had the best close, monthly close in two years this week. And you can see here, although we didn't breach above the 2016 highs, have a look at the close. It's the best close in two years. Silver closed at $20.78 here. And you can see the highs here were up to $21.13. So we didn't breach the highs, but we had the best close. Silver today, it pulled back. And this is quite common when you've got a major news and an announcement which is pending. What do traders do? They take some profits off the table. Who knows what the Bank of England is going to do or non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So traders, they will just take some profit off the table, especially following on from the ADP numbers yesterday, which were supportive for the US dollar. But today it's a different story. Uh, in fact, I'm just looking at my other screen. I'll tell you what I'll do before I go on to silver. I'll talk you through gold. Let's just have a look at a tighter time frame because you can see here at the moment, gold, gold here is just ramping up. So I do expect this to, it looks like it's on track to break above the highs here of 1,367 US dollars per ounce. We're only $50 away from a five, a $5 move away from that or 50 points at the moment. And this is just during the, U, the majority of the UK session right now as we start to transition into the US session this afternoon. Um, I mean, it's great, guys. For those of you on on today's session, I commend you today because you've you've come at a really opportune time in the markets. I'm sure some of you are making money off the breakdowns in a lot of the uh, forex pairs at the moment, uh, pound, US dollar, maybe um, other other types of derivatives of that, the pound. But you do want to have a look at gold as well. This is pretty straightforward trade as well. So if we go over and have a look at silver as per the questions, silver have a look at too because silver did pull back this morning. It's also developing a rejection candle off a major underlying supportive channel. It broke out of a pennant formation last week. It's not far from its 2016 highs, which formed after Brexit. 
best performing commodity so far this year. And if it does breach above the highs here of the week, $20 and around 77 uh, US dollars per ounce, yes, it has the potential to follow through. If it takes out the swing highs, expect big orders to get in above $21.15. Now we had the question as well. So we've got a record net long position on at the moment by um, investors right now. So does that does that mean that you know it could be getting ready to correct on on silver at the moment? So at this point in time, where silver is is currently poised, it just continues. It's the best performing commodity this year, and it continues to get bought in at every pullback. I would have really expected if we were to get a, a proper correction on silver, it should have happened over the month of July. Every time we came down to nineteen dollars and twenty cents, it got supported. So we saw that on several occasions from the non-farm payrolls at the beginning of July, bounced back, had a 100-point move on the day, a $1 move. We also saw a similar situation on the European Central Bank statement as well over the month of July. So right now, I would suggest it does have more upside and it is worth bearing in mind that investment demand remains very strong. Now, we are coming to you a little bit later than usual for today's session. So we're starting to overlap um, soon into the US session. And I would just suggest look at gold. I'm watching it from my other screens here. Uh, it won't take long until it breaks above. I would suggest it, it looks like it's on track for it at the moment to break above the weekly highs. And then you've got the potential to follow through. If we do, we break above 1,375 US dollars per ounce. You're going to see uh, a lot of analysts talking about that. The fact that gold has broken out to uh, two year highs off the back of the Bank of England cutting interest rates. So just be mindful of that at the moment. Keep an eye on it. But then we've got the non-farm payrolls tomorrow as well. So what I'll do, I'll just go over to some questions. Um, Ravinda, as that relates to gold and silver, I would suggest, right, so in terms of profit targets right now, obviously we need to be realistic here as well. Um, we, we need to just look at the next major overhead resistance channels. And there is clean air here. So you can see my trend channels in place at the moment. So what would I look at for gold in terms of a projected level of resistance? I would take it up to between 14, certainly if it can break out above the 2016 highs, break above 1375, follow through from that level, I would then be going up and targeting ahead here to about 1,410 to ultimately about 1,425. But that's over the whole month. That's not in a day or two. I would look at those levels over the course of the month here. So again, just going back to a seasonality perspective, often August, you can get this follow through. The fact that we're already building up some good momentum in the first week of August, this would essentially be the level here for gold to take out its July high here or Brexit high. And then once you get to that point, this is where you could get some really good momentum to the upside. So I'm watching that level very closely indeed. And silver as well. Yeah, silver's got um, some different upside targets at the moment, but right now it does offer potentially a good opportunity. It just needs a little bit more confirmation. If you don't have longer term positions in the metals at the moment, I would await at the moment for gold just to break above the weekly highs. Then you should get a nice breakout, clean, flat level breakout, then break above 1375. And then you've got a fresh run up to 1380. Beyond 1380, you could have a fresh run to 1400s over, over the next few weeks as we pr uh, progress into August. OK, good. So I wanted to just spend a little bit more time on gold and silver today. What I will do, too, is we'll just move over and have a look. We've had a few questions on uh, crude oil. If there's any more additional questions on gold and silver, more than happy to spend a little bit of time on that as well. So if we have a look at oil, we've been discussing oil for a while now on the on the weekly sessions here. And for those of you who've been following us on the weekly sessions, you will know that we've been short oil for uh, a while since Brexit. And we've been continuing to hold on to that position. It's in over 700 points of profit. We've got swing trades and longer term positions on as well. We were looking for initially a move to the 50% Fibonacci level, which takes oil down to just below 40 US dollars per barrel. In fact, we're battling around that level. We've had two bounces off that level this week we've uh, had a bullish engulfing candle into the close yesterday and we're sat around the 200 day moving average watching oil closely it does have some overhead resistance in the short term here that it is starting to struggle with so you can see it bounced up this morning but it is got has got quite a lot of over overhead resistance the oil inventories yesterday 
showed a surplus uh, of oil. And with that, we did see initially a breakdown in price, but then we saw technical buying at the 50% Fibonacci level. What I'm looking at at the moment is a typical correction after a first run up in a bull market for oil lasts up to two and a half months. So far, oil from its highs that it formed at the end of May, beginning of January, is two months into this correction. It's been correcting for two months. Brexit really helped to take the back off oil here. It really helped to break it down. And since then, we've just continued over the over the really the months of July here to break down in price. So now we're into two months and one week, or well, almost one week into the close on Friday, it will be one week of corrective moves. I would expect this to continue potentially for another week or two before we start to base here on oil. I'm looking at projected levels, number one, 39 level is obviously holding right now, that 50% Fibonacci level. If we break that, I'm looking at the next major zones at $38.50 per barrel and below that, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement at 37. Also note here, on, and then we're expecting supported bounces and we'll be looking to see if we get an opportunity to get back into this for its next run up. So go back to the price structure last year as well. Note that we started to ramp up towards the third week of August. This is where we saw from a seasonality perspective as well. This is where oil, it reached the bottom and it then significantly moved. What you need to watch out for on oil, and you can be caught off guard here. If you trade oil regularly, you'll probably be aware of this. Look at that. In three days last year, at the end of August, oil ran it back 1,000 points. And it likes to do that. It will grind lower, lower and lower over two months. And within three days, it can retrace a lot of the previous breakdown in price here. So you can get these huge retracements. To put that into perspective, if oil had the same retracement that it did last August over three days, and that pattern is known as a three white soldier pattern, if it was to do that, and from its current price, if it rallied 1,000 points in three days, Within three days, it would put oil back above $50 a barrel, okay? So just to put that in context of what it did last August, so the fact that it's at around $40 per barrel at the moment, it still has the potential for a next leg higher here. So far, on a weekly close basis, you can see the weekly hammer, which is developing at the 50% Fibonacci level, it still has produced a higher swing low. So if we were to hold on to this level, the bull market is still in place. All it is, is it's had a first leg up, which has been an incredible move from 27 US dollars per barrel all the way up. It's in fact managed to come up all the way up to $52 per barrel. It's about an 85 to 90% move to the upside since the lows of the year. We've corrected 50%. If it builds up momentum from here, yes we'll get in we'll get in for a longer term position and we'll look to retake out and certainly revisit $50 per barrel over the course of the next two quarters here between now and the end of the year we would expect that sort of a move it's interesting to note that in the history of the oil market once it's officially moved into a bull market it's first leg up there's never only just been one leg up and then it just completely fizzles out and breaks back below its low that hasn't happened before with oil it always has its first leg up corrects itself or normally a 50 to 61.8 actually normally it's within the region of a 35 percent retracement down to 61 so between that level of retracement and then following on from that its second leg up would then take out the swing highs and then build significant upside so you can see on a weekly basis watch oil carefully because this 50 percent fibonacci level which is sat around the 200 day moving average we're watching this zone Blink and you can miss it. Take three, dos three days off trading, come back to oil. It could have moved a thousand points in three days. It's within the realm of possibility with the oil market. We're watching this very carefully. Now, just going back to gold here again, I do suggest you want to watch this market very carefully. It's brewing for a potential breakout right now. The way it's looking at one thousand, it's now only about four dollars away from the highs of the week. If it breaks through that level, you'll see good follow through during the US session. It should continue to go up until towards the close of the US session if it breaks resistance. What I would suggest, though, don't expect Asia to necessarily buy this move. So far, Asia all week, actually, they've not bought any of the breakouts. So what you find is gold rallies, rallies into the close and then overnight, don't get any follow through, profit taking. And I would suggest that's something to bear in mind. We've got non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So if you see oil, sorry, gold in this instance, have a good breakout today. Let's say it gets up to beyond 1,367, breaks above 1,375. Just be mindful 
whatever the move is today on gold, however high it gets in towards the close, just be mindful that so far at the moment, Asia have not been buying over the Asia Pacific session. Therefore, what you can expect is potentially profit taking unless they buy on this occasion, unless they do continue to move move the price up. But I would just be mindful of that. If they don't buy overnight, you'll just get profit taking prior to non-farm payrolls tomorrow. And then that can cause a bit of a pullback. But right now, the sentiment, the momentum is all to the upside for gold here. As we go into the US session this afternoon, there's not really too many major news items which are going to change this structure as we continue the move. It's now 1.45 London time. You've got until pretty much 10 o'clock London time today for gold to make its move. So we've got about seven hours for gold to really break out. If it can do it, we'll definitely be watching this very closely, guys. So with that, I really wanted just to focus on gold, spend a bit more time on those today, gold, silver, and also oil as well. So I hope that has just given a little bit more insight, guys, and really given you um, some assistance, if you, particularly if you trade gold, silver, and oil. And of course, in terms of our portfolio performance, using our exclusive research-driven strategies, we've continued to take advantage of uh, platinum moves in both platinum, gold, and silver. We've got longer-term positions, swing trades on these as well. We came out of a platinum trade last week off the back of the FOMC statement for a 510-point profit gain. We've also come out of another swing trade for light sweet crude oil for 350 points profit, but we've got a longer term trade as well, which is over 700 points profit at the moment, which was taken around Brexit. So that is continuing to move well. If you would like access to our highly profitable live trade ideas, which are shared with all of our members, the exact entry levels, exit levels, take profit levels that we're getting in all our positions at the Gold and Silver Club, ready to implement for instant results, then of course there is an opportunity for you to join us. I will expand on this in more detail, but for those of you who might need to go shortly, very simply, if you want to make an application to join us at the Gold and Silver Club, all you need to do is go to www join the gold and silver club.com complete the application form and we'll of course get in touch with you asap okay and then you'll get exclusive access to our private members live trading room so for those of you who are able to uh, stay on the session for a little bit longer what does that include exactly and who is it for so essentially whether you're a new trader and you're looking to develop a solid understanding of the markets fast track your results or even if you're an experienced trader and you want to take your trading to that next level, the private members live trading room, it's definitely something to consider. The live trading room webinars you get with that, they include exclusive access to our live trading rooms where you can watch the Gold and Silver Club expert traders analyze the commodity markets right in front of you, pick out highly profitable trade setups, share exact entry, exit, profit target, stop loss, as well as walk you through live trading ideas ready to implement. We provide trade notifications via email, SMS, real-time notifications, alerting you when to enter a trade. Those include the exact details of where we are entering, exit, stop loss, trade management. All trades are sent out in advance notice to ensure everyone has plenty of time to get into every single position that we're trading. Also very important is we use our methods, our strategies, our research driven as well. So it's not just technicals that we focus on. We use a lot of research, a lot of data and fundamentals that go into each of the trades that we take. Private members get exclusive access to our proprietary trading research and market insights to help you to boost your win rate, ensure you, you are on the right side of the trades that you're taking. And that really helps you to get a very strong edge when you trade the commodity markets. Okay. So again, what do you get as being a member of the private members live trading room? You get exclusive weekly live trading room webinars. You get live trade setups ready to implement for results, real time trade notifications by email and SMS so you don't miss profitable trades. Exact details of where to enter, exit, place a stop loss. You get the weekly trading plan and watch list for the week ahead as well. Live trade support to help you through each trade and institutional level trading research and commodity insights to really give you the ultimate edge in the markets. So again, if you would like access to our private members live trading room, all you need to do to make an application is go to www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com, complete the application form, and we will get in touch with you ASAP. Okay, fantastic. So 
again guys i really wish you all good trading and in fact before i go let's just bring it back to gold again here i would seriously suggest if you've not got this on the radar right now have it on the radar it's literally it's very close to breaking above the weekly highs here you can see there's there's simply a key level of resistance and if you break that there's literally clean air above to break above the 2016 highs and ramp up towards the 1380 zone so i would watch that very carefully as us are about to come online guys so just bear that in mind and of course if you would like to get access to all of the trades that we're taking at the gold and silver club again just w www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com okay fantastic so i think that's it guys i don't think there's any more questions there adendo mauricio i think that's pretty much it guys in terms of questions uh thanks everybody for your contribution today and uh yeah i really hope you've got something out of today's webinar guys uh we look forward to speak to you all real soon i wish you good trading a profitable days trading as well and we'll catch you all on the next one okay guys take care have a fantastic day and good trading thank you bye bye